hey guys welcome back i have decided to do looks to show my heritage and because i'm black and i'm proud to be black and i'm very sad about what's going on in the world today i just feel i need to celebrate my heritage and really show you where i'm from and i'm from kenya born and raised in kenya i'm gonna be bringing in looks from different tribes and i'm also gonna try and bring in looks from africa because kenya is in africa for whatever tribal clothes i can find i'm gonna start off with this look today and you're gonna see how i came up with this and this is the the look from the kikuyu tribe in kenya i hope you like it i've already done my eyebrows and today i used anastasia beverly hills deep brow pomade in ebony and that's what i use that's why they look a little bit dark i noticed with the pencil they were kind of light especially in the pictures so i really tried to make them a little darker and i'm gonna start off with using my primer and this is the no problem primer i can never say that word and this is from touch and soul Oh, and I also cleaned up my eyebrows, under my eyebrows, using the LA Girl Concealer in Chestnut. I normally start with my eyes so that if any, in case of any fallout, it's easier to clean up. I'm going to try using a concealer today to base my eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the color Cool Tan. I'm in the sun again and I'm trying not to burn myself. Today I'm going to be using this palette. And this is the Juvia's Place Masquerade mini palette this is how the, the palette looks like okay so far that's how the shade looks like and i used zulu as my transition shade the next shade i'm gonna use is ada and i'm gonna put that inside my crease hmm. the shade ada is a little pinker than zulu so i guess we'll just roll with it in makeup you do whatever you apply if you don't think it came out the way you wanted it to you just roll with it and you can add another shade on top but i'm just gonna roll with it like this so i went back in and i put a halo look using the concealer again cool tan in ellie girl pro concealer and i use a color pop color pop flat brush this one oh it doesn't have a number but it's a flat brush like this and I just use it to put the concealer right there because I want like a halo look. And that's why I'm going to use the shimmer shade Casablanca. And that's how the shade looks like. I'm going to try using my finger. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to use a brush. Oh, that worked perfect. Okay, I like how that came out. And then so as not to have that very sharp line. I'll blend the edges so that we don't have like a sharp line between the, the shimmer shade and the, the matte shade. I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Inglot Eye Gel Liner in the, the, black, the black shade. And I'm going to do this offline. Okay guys, I had to change the angle because it was too bright over there. So right now I'm using the Juvia's Place foundation and I'm in the shade Abidjan. And I'm using Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 to blend all this out. To highlight, I'm going to use the Colourpop No Filter Concealer and my shade is Dark 46. And I'm going to be using my Damp Beauty Blender. And I really like this shade because it doesn't really wipe me out. And it tends to blend really well into my skin. And I use a sharp side of the beauty blender to get right under my eyes. And then I use the, the base just to rub all that in. If you don't have the tape like I used, you can use actually the concealer to get the sharp look. And to set the concealer, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. And I put a little bit on the cap. I don't bake. I just tap it in. I was very nervous that, that this powder would make me look white, but I might have put a lot today. You can always go in and correct with a bronzer, which is what I'm about to do. I'm going to contour using Showman's, and this is from Morphe. And I'm going to be using this shade. I'm using an angled brush, and this is from Andrea Renee Peach and Pearl. I love her brushes. If 
if you put a very light powder like like i did i think i put too much you can always bring it back with the powder that i am about to wear i'm gonna go back on the palette and i'm gonna use the shade ada and i'm gonna put that under my eyelids and i'm using sigma smudge e21 brush i think i'm gonna put some more and I'm gonna use just a regular black eyeliner for my lower lids and this is the LA girl in very black mascara I'm gonna be using thrive cosmetics in the liquid lash extension mascara in the shade green which is really black and I'm gonna do the same for my lower lashes hey guys as you can see I went in and did a lot I wore this traditional kind of outfit I, I just try to get everything i could around so i'm gonna finish up my look i did put in my eyelashes and i use these magnetic eyelashes and they're actually pretty comfortable for my lips i'm gonna use this gloss from morphe and this is free bird i just wanted a it's a very neutral lip look it's very nude I thought it would be a bit brighter then i'm gonna finish with a spray and i'm gonna be using the urban decay on oh no i did not put powder never mind then this is a sephora micro smooth bake in deep and i'm gonna be using this brush and this is from pauline cosmetics and i really love this brush because it's really it's really fluffy and nice and now i'm just putting back all the color just putting the color back and finishing up the whole look this is how I was saying, if you feel like you put in like a very bright powder to highlight, you can always use the powder that you're using all over your face to darken it a bit. So I think I kind of went a bit ham on that powder today. I'm going to set all that with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Since I don't have a highlighter, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow from Juvia's Place, this one. I really don't know how this is gonna come out. It's showing very, very slightly. It's showing actually slightly. It's not too much, and anyway, I don't like too much highlighter. Well guys, this is it. I hope you like it. I tried to be as traditional as I could. These are honestly just bracelets, and these are also beads that i try to put in it's just a straight up like a sarong or like a shawl that i use because i couldn't find anything but anyway i hope you like this look and as usual be kind to others and be kind to yourselves bye